Chris Yen, CEO of Plume on RWA Flavored Crypto and Tokenizing Everything EP 362, Layer 2 RWA Tokenization and RWA Greatest of All Time is in the house. Plume CEO, Chris Yen talks all things RWA and tokenization. Last updated August 20th, 2024 at 610 GMT3, author said Fadil Pasek. Author Seed, Fadil Pasek about Author Seed specializes in writing factual and informative articles to help the public navigate the ever-changing world of crypto. He has extensive experience in the blockchain industry uh, where he has served author profile share, or copied last updated August 20th, 2024, at 610 GMT3, why trust Crypto News with over a decade of crypto coverage? Crypto News delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Crypto News a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Crypto News. Crypto News podcast host Matt Zahab sat down for an exclusive interview with Chris Yin, the CEO and co-founder of Plume, a modular layer 2 L2 blockchain for real-world assets, RWASP. Yin discussed the relevance and potential of ROAS as well as the current issues the assets face. He talked about RWA fee or RWA flavored crypto, what makes ROAS successful and useful. And when we may see widespread tokenization play around with this RWA thing, I would have never guessed we'd go down this road, Yin told Matt. Raws were not on his map when he entered the space. The initial step that led him into this sector was the idea of onboarding more people into crypto. The possibilities surrounding Moraz started growing the more Yin learned about it, he suggested. What the Plume team quickly learned is that getting an asset on-chain, regardless of what it is, is difficult. Another issue is that once they are on-chain, many of them are essentially useless. Therefore, the Plume team decided to play around with this thing and, and figure it out. While they began with their intuition alone, said Yin, they eventually started listening to the opinions of developers, protocol builders, and users. The totality of RWA, in my opinion, is how do we express ideas about the real world on chain, Yin remarked. Or how do I have an idea about anything in the real world and be able to push a button on chain and make it happen? Meanwhile, timing helped as well. Plume has been developing at the time of major institutional adoption, particularly following the launch of Bitcoin and Ethereum spot exchange traded funds, ETFs, this has propelled the crypto industry further into the mainstream and is bound to help bring more of the traditional sector on chain. That said, it's still early, said Yin. There's still a lot to do here and a long way to go. Or WA fee, RWA flavored crypto, discussing actual use cases of the authentication of real world assets. Yin noted the concept of RWA fee. These, he said, are rawas for crypto people or raw flavored crypto. It is still crypto, Yin continued, but with a tinge of raws to it. These assets are useful on day one and are therefore attractive to veterans and newcomers alike. As an example, Yin gave stable coins. This product is a classic RWA, but packaged differently, yet under the hood. It's still crypto. It's widely successful, useful, and interoperable. As such, it has a vast adoption potential. Therefore, Plume's approach has been to search for what is valuable on day one. Additionally, this asset needs to be more valuable once it gets on chain. It makes no sense to make something that is less useful and illiquid, Yin said. Meanwhile, Plume is deep in our test net right now and has recently entered its second phase. The project has already seen a bunch of success and now aims to showcase the RWA by use cases. We've got a bunch of exciting announcements happening in the next few weeks, the CEO founder noted. Moving an aircraft carrier, some form of widespread tokenization is bound to happen, Ian suggested, though when that will happen is difficult to say. Massive companies, even U.S. treasuries, are already in the space, and this will certainly hasten the adoption. But to put things into perspective, though they invest hundreds of millions, 
This is just marketing money for massive firms. They can afford to make a bet. Nonetheless, once giants get involved, people want a piece of these products. But it will not happen quickly, Yin said more. Our TradFi folks will need to get in, and many are still mentally recovering following the FTX fiasco. So it will take time. It's like moving an aircraft carrier, Yin said. We still have a long way to go. That said, to get there, the industry needs to look at what people want and what products are successful and expand from there, build outwards. And then as the audience changes, things will change as well. Those products will come on chain, Yin said. The assets most likely to succeed on chain are those that take advantage of crypto's native architecture. This includes its availability 24 sevens globally, instant settlements, composability, etc. If you lean into those things and have a blend where it's born on chain and lives on chain, and it's something you couldn't do in the real world, or that will bring people in. And to me, those are the things that matter, Yin said. It's a whole universe of things we haven't thought about yet. That's not all. In this interview, Yin also discussed his experience as a founder, investor, and working on financial products, software products, building a successful product, raising money, going public, and establishing industry. Connections, the path and future of tokenization, Plume's unique offerings in the RWA space, how Plume is evolving to serve institutional partners, biggest challenges in RWA deployment. Are taking a crypto native approach to building offerings suitable for TradFi, most valuable assets to bring on chain. Or you can watch the full podcast episode here about Chris Yin. Chris Yin is CEO and co-founder of Plume, a modular layer two L2 blockchain exclusively for real world assets, RWAS. Yin founded Plume in 2024 to redefine how people use and think about RWAS. He is leading a team that aims to simplify how users bring any asset on chain, including collectibles, alternative assets, and traditional financial instruments. Yin has an accomplished track record as a product. Lead and investor with prior positions at Beluga, Scale Venture Partners, and Rainforest Q&A. Follow us on Google News. Thank you.